Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for uh, Leo. This is going to be for your uh, September 2023. You can apply this to your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So is it a good idea for you to reach out? So we're, uh, it's uh, someone that you're dealing with that you're in no contact with. Uh, we're going to take a look at see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person and what will happen if you had contact with this individual. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch to roles if you want. It could be a situation where this person is wondering this about you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your own replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok and also on instagram the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, all right? So tell me about Leo. Leo, the person that Leo is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for uh, September 2023, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups here. Well, whoever this person is, Leo, this is a King of Cups. This person's like in love with you. Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person's madly in love with you. Yeah. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the world, and the Empress here. But you know what? Um, Leo, I feel like whatever has gone on here between you and this person because of the separation, because of this no contact here, I, I feel like you really leveled up here or that you really changed as a person here. You know, um, you, you're going from a queen to an empress here. And I feel like, be, you know, because you've changed, you feel like you might not have room for this person in your life. Okay. It seems like this person walked away for a third party here. Yeah, it seems like they, they walked away to, you know, I feel like this person's still with a third party to here. Uh, it's, it's, they're still with a third party, to be quite honest. And I feel like this person's still, like, going back and forth regarding their decision here, okay? I do feel like, you know, if they walked away to a third party, I feel like it's trouble in paradise right now because I feel like the, your person and your third party and that third party here is arguing and fighting a lot. I feel like it's not a good idea to reach out to this person here. And I feel like they think that they're in love with this person, but they're not. They're actually in love with you. Yeah, they're actually in love with you. With the strength card here and the lovers here, you know, I just feel like you're leaving this relationship behind. You are standing in your power. You're remaining in your power and you just don't want anything to do with this individual. Yeah. So, you know, this is an indication that Leo, you're pretty, you're doing pretty well on your own here because, you know, sometimes that for me, that Queen of Wands, also the King of Wands is a representation of, of like a third party here. Okay. So I would say, you know, I feel like you know well enough to leave this alone. So I see you leaving this alone and not bothering with this. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's almost like you're, oh, you know what? I don't care. You know, I'm just going to let this person rot in hell sort of thing. Okay. But uh, let's see, tell me about um, Leo. Um, what will happen if, uh, if there's a contact with Leo and the person that they are no contact with? What will happen if there is contact here? What will happen if there is contact here? For uh, September 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Star. Well, what will happen is I feel like this person is still kind of like yearning over you and pining for you here. I mean, they definitely see you as their person. They definitely see you as someone here. They see you as someone here who got away, you, you, you know, because of a poor decision that they made here. The star card, Aquarius energy. We have the seven of wands in the reverse here. Uh, we also have the queen of pentacles here. How many people is this person talking to? 
Yeah, how many people, how many people is your person talking to here? Yeah, it, you know what? I feel like you made peace with the past here. Yeah, four of swords here and the six of cups. So I feel like you're leaving this behind. Could be a situation, you know, with the queen of pentacles here. Someone here could be coming forward here and just telling you, they're going to tell you everything. Yeah, they're gonna they're they're gonna tell you everything here because I, I I feel I feel like you're this empress here. Seven of Cups here, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Star card here, and Temperance. Seems like they're reaching. Uh, seems like they're definitely spying on you, or that they could be sending you text messages, emails, DMs, and stuff like that. You know, trying to chat, trying to get, get trying trying to get in contact with you, or perhaps looking to heal this connection, or looking for forgiveness here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like this person will continue to keep their options open here. We have the Three of Pentacles here and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, I do feel like this person's a bit of a juggler. Uh, I, 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 I feel like it's almost like an energy of like that this person cannot help themselves. It's like whatever they see at the candy store, they have to have it. They have to have it here. Yeah, I, I, you know, I feel like your person is giving these people, a couple of people, uh, some hell here. Yeah, because I feel like who, your person is someone here, like I said, just can't help themselves. Every time they see someone, they just have to have them. It's like every time they see somebody, you know, new or someone that's very attractive, they have to bonk them. Yeah, because we have one king here and we have all these feminine energies. Queen of Wands, so we have the Empress here, we have who. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups here. Uh, it, it seems like your person is also dealing with an ex here too. Yeah, you just you just don't have time for this. You just don't have time for this, Leo. So you know it's just best that you know not to contact with the uh, have contact with this person. It seems like this person has a lack of a, a lack of a, a lack of a compass here. Yeah, they're like all over the place. Uh, their emotions are all over the place here. Um, so, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.